And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some standalone mid-range. We got another donation deck to try out. This one was a viewer submitted list where we are going to be um, basically uh, building our deck around standalone, being able to give our uh, ally plus three, plus three, and pairing that with both Fiora to make Fiora a lot larger and easier to kill enemies and Zed to make Zed a lot larger and able to attack. So you know, like turn one and two, we're not really doing anything. And then turn three, we want to play one of our champions and stand alone. It. That's the goal of our deck. Anyway, but yeah, this is another donation deck. That's what the two Ds here mean. Uh, if you're watching this uh, here on Twitch or later on YouTube and want a uh, want your deck played on stream, it's just a $10 donation. The uh, donation link, you can find it in the description. And uh, just send me the code of your deck, or if you want me to build a deck, let me know what you want me to build in the description of the donation. All right, but anyway, yeah, we got uh, we have that. So basically, we're uh, going to try to Voltron up our one creature, keep protecting it with all this other stuff, um, and win with that. We have uh, we also have Solitary Monk in here. That's a, another very large flyer that you know if you have Monk and then standalone the Monk, it's seven power in the you know seven elusive power. Uh, you know, obviously that's going to do really well for us. We have Relentless Pursuit that can allow us to attack multiple times with our huge threat. And um, then we also have a couple Judgments here to go along with the Fiora where we can get some, get a large Fiora with that standalone and then get Judgment kills with it. So that's our deck. Let's, let's send it on over to Ranked. We're going to go play fi our five matches and let's see, let's see how we do. Or some some standalone mid-range. Maybe I should have called this deck standalone cop uh, combo. It's kind of a combo deck. It's combo-y. Alright, getting the thumbnail for it. All right, what do we got? So no standalone and no Fiora and no Zed. I think I just want to send them all back. I mean, playing Shadow Assassin into Blade Keeper isn't like the worst thing in the world, but it's not really as powerful as our deck can be. All right, so it looks like we're going to be going Zed into Blade Keeper right now. Lots of Zeds. We got full house. Even though I don't have any protection for the Zed, it, it doesn't really matter. You just play a new one. There we go, that's good. Be able to grant it tough. Out of grasp the undying range. Yeah, Zed's over denies. It's a good full house. Don't have deny for this turn, but the tough should be pretty good. I wonder if I was supposed to attack with the Blade Keeper also and then replace Blade Keeper with Shadow Shift and put it back in my hand so I could have Blade Keeper it again. The problem with doing that and like Blade Keepering again is that then, yeah, they can have Vengeance next turn. Alright. Uh, let's see, let's grant this tough. I want to have Deny available. I guess they could have Vengeance still this turn, couldn't they? That's something I may do with this. Um... Yeah, they could have played it that past turn. That's true.
Oh, this doesn't even work, does it? Well, that was useless. Well, that was useless. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. I don't think they're gonna have four mana or something that kills this, so I think we're good. With casting that. Do not deny me. Double blocking. Glimpse beyond. Let him have it. Yeah, I think we let him have it. My skill is Kind of annoying. Just kind of. So I'll have 10 mana, which we obviously wish was 12 as far as judgment plus deny. My plan is just judgment. Do not disappoint me. I'm not sure what they're gonna have six mana with these two that kills that kills this. I don't think they have anything. No, I don't think this deck would benefit from Deathmark. No, I think it would it would too often be a dead card. All right, judgment rectum. GG's one and oh. Zed's judgment. Zed's judgment was Hecarim is not worthy of staying on the battlefield. I couldn't see the thing is I couldn't set the block first because like whenever I did the the living shadow play because they uh, they were fearsome and so I couldn't block with the two power thing anyway. So yeah, I couldn't block with that. Plays. There's standalone. No Zed or Fiora yet, but we got the monk. The monk's good enough to, to stand alone. It's it's definitely if, if we could if we had to pick one card in our deck to have in our opening hand that we want to find, it is standalone. So they're 100% Shadow Isles with Callista, so they should be doing a whole bunch of sacrifice stuff. Obviously, they're going to be going like Wraith Crawlers to go with these Mist Wraiths. They basically only have, like, in Shadow Isles, there's nothing besides Vengeance that kills a 7-6. 
right? So as long as they if they don't have Vengeance mana up, I, I don't need to keep the protection up. I can, you know, play Shadow Assassin. Yo, Storm, good evening. Because, of course, this is just a race. Like, we're, we're going to kill them next turn. All we have to do is <clears throat> not die here. Don't get to... Don't get to double spell with if we want to play Shadow Assassin. I wish, like, one of these four drops were twin disciplines. Oh well. Is there a prismatic barrier in this deck? I assume so, right? No prismatic barrier. I guess we're going with this for the, the life steal instead. Um Alright, let's see. So they attack out. I block, block. I'm taking 7, 15 right now. Not a two mana deal two damage, right? I can't think of a two mana deal two damage that they could have that they would they would kill my solitary monk. Oh, they could have Uh, maybe we'll just do this. No. Alright. I, I ran out of time. Uh, Mark of the Isles. That was that was the card. Mark of the Isles is the one that I remembered. Um, Mark of the Isles would have just killed me here. If they would have Mark of the if they had Mark of the Isles. So I should have blocked, of course, but I kind of ran out of time. I didn't... I mean, I... We, we were going to be able to go Shadow Assassin plus Repost anyway, but... Um, I wanted to go straight to combat. And not let them play anything pre-combat. That was not the... Um, That's not the cleanest of blocking faces, but yeah, I remembered Mark of the Isles, and I kind of panicked a little bit of not wanting this thing to be blocked. All right, but anyway, hopefully we're good. I need no weapon. Yeah, we're not good. All right, judgment time. Yeah, I don't know what this thing's supposed to be either, but this guy's cool. Butterflies?
So Hada says if this deck makes one or two beefy allies, doesn't dawn it and dusk help? I mean, ideally, a spell to give overwhelm uh, would fix chump blockers, but that, but that faction combination has none, sadly. Um, I mean, we're not really not really worried about chump blockers because our things are elusive or they're Zed. I guess I guess they can chump block Zed, but um, man, these judgments have been awesome. Dawn and Dusk is just really fragile. It's really hard to have Dawn and Dusk and have protection and keep protection available for your threat. Dawn and Dusk is, makes you too fragile. Like, Judgment also makes you too fragile, but Judgment wins games. And therefore is probably worth it. That it does. All right, let's play another one. Everyone just playing Ruination these days. Their whole Decker creatures. Only the worthy survive. I have many things. That's good. I think. Do I have oh, I don't even get I don't even get priority again, do I? I was thinking for some reason I was going to get priority again. And I was going to be able to attack right away, but that's not how that works. But still they play one thing like a skitter and then we attack with the two with the Zed gives us two of these. They can block one. The other one kills them. That was a messy game. That was a messy game. Yeah, that was that was pretty messy. But we got that one point of damage in. Ooh, look at our vault. We're already level four vault. And they make it they make leveling up the vault pretty easy to start with. You know, we've played what like five, six, seven games. And we're level four. It's unlimited vault time. That's right, this week. Has now set it up so you can limit your vault. You can level your vault unlimitedly. Hecarim Thresh. Do I want to go for Big Monk or Big Zed? I'm thinking Big Zed. So we'll say bye to the monk. Perfect. Those were like two great cards to draw. Yeah, style points are overrated. Yep. Did not get style points for that one, but don't need them. Boo. Alright, well I have a I have a great hand, but you know, they had their perfect turn two combo, so we'll see we'll see whose good hand is better. 
see if they can answer Zed. Get him, Zed. Get him. Oh gosh, if they just had a repost, yeah, that would have been that would have been devastating. I'm not expecting them to have repost at all. I don't think they had splashed Demacia for repost, but you never know. You never know. You never know. For the honor of my house. I'm really glad Black Spear doesn't cost two mana anymore. Yeah, I wish I could have gave Zed armor, we just didn't have any mana. I wish we could have. Get him, Zed. Go get him! More attacks. Look at that tough. That's one tough Zed right there. That's one tough Zed. That's not even necessary, is it? I was gonna block, but you know what? We don't we don't need to block. I was gonna block with the Zed, but there's no reason to block with Zed. We don't need to do that. Have was vengeance. All right, let's go. Three and O. Oh. GGS. Zed, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, this deck really does hit hard. Yeah, rally rally fits this deck really well. Um, all right, so this this is definitely just like a damage based deck. Let's get rid of the monk. I'm gonna keep, you know, we'll have the Fiora standalone, and then have like the Judgment here, like where we can try to win with Judgment, because they're probably you know like going wide and being all aggroy and stuff like that. And so Fiora, Fiora, Judgment, 
We'll hopefully finish them off. I don't necessarily need to... I can do this. Like, we don't need to, like, try, like, get it... We don't need to get Fiora into combat too much before the, the Judgment turn, right? Like, all we have to do is kill four things with Judgment. Don't mind me. <laughs> Correct. When you give temporary health to a damaged unit, it's, like, it's healing it, and so it's permanent. Yes. Basically, even, like, this is plus one, plus one this round, but if that plus one, plus one, that only, it only goes away at the end of the round if it's past what their stats are supposed to be. Like, Fiora is supposed to be a 3-3. Three, three. So if Fiora was, for some reason, a 1-1, one, one, and you gave it this, then Fiora would be a permanent 2-2. Two, two. You know, it's like, it, it leaves, and it wouldn't just be this round. I should probably kill the Boom Crew Rookie, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to just also not do anything. It's it's the whole... I have the choice, you know? Like, I can I do something or not do something. To hold me back. And I think this is a good choice with just one, one point of damage. Coming across right now. Obviously, they can have pumps and other stuff, but... I think this is worth it. I'm probably not casting anything next turn. Probably. Expired. Dang, don't kill my Fiora. We're all in on this Fiora. Don't kill it. I think it's worth block trying to block repost and then they have some kind of damage spell on Fiora. I don't think that's worth it. Uh, it's Raven time. Looking good, kid. I like that. That's good. That's pretty good. Hmm. So now they'd have to have two direct damage spells. If I Fiora Challenger the Draven and use Repost, I have Deny Backup. Um, or of course I'd have like the, the tough with this. I think, I think we do this Your now. Move. Your move. If, if I have it tough and they do one damage, but the damage doesn't happen because of the tough, does that mean my barrier goes away? Like, let's say they have Blade's Edge, but I give this tough. Does the barrier go away? Or, you know, like Static Shock or whatever. Yeah, I would think not, but I don't I don't know for sure. But I would think not. No. 
so close. Gosh, they had so much burn. Um, man, this just kills it. And I was hoping another Mystic Shot, you know, because we had the Radiant Strike. I mean... I guess I use this, like... Alright, we're gonna need to draw another... Another creature. This will be quick. Everything I've worked for. That heal card would have saved if it wasn't if it wasn't Radiant Strike, if it was the, the gain three. Would have saved there. Oh that thing's burst speed. So, basically, I just should not have... Ooh, we got another Fiora. Okay, we're still in it. I should not have taken the Draven. You know, I should not have done that challenge. I should have just waited to try to set up a Judgment Kill. Alright, gonna deny that. Come on, play, play a creature, come on. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Get him, Fiora. Get him. Four and oh, what a draw. Drew another Fiora. Dude, this judgment, these judgments have been so clutch. Like, three of these four wins have, like, really been on the back of judgment. Card has been absolutely incredible for us. Absolutely incredible. And we're four and O. Oh. Let's go. This deck's pretty fun, and it's you know it's nice and quick, and um, you know some fun games like a lot of decisions to make in a short amount of time. So. All right, this could be the Karina Control. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is Karina Control. Which I definitely want Deny against. Um, do I do I keep Shadow Assassin or, or look for a different 3-drop? I feel like I just keep Shadow Assassin against the Control deck. Yeah, our, our deck really can win multiple ways. Definitely cool. Nah. Death. 
All right, that one's good. I will play my part. That one's good, I, su I suppose. Look at all these swords. This deck's just all swords. Um... If I play Blade Keeper, I have good blocks this turn. If I play Fiora, I can try to set up Fiora Judgment and, you know, Fiora with Blade Keeper and everything. I think I'd just play Blade Keeper, though. I think this is the better play. So I'm pretty sure that, like, you know, like, Vile Offering is something that I could definitely see them having. So I'm not going in on the Fiora. But it's not like Fiora can't still By my honor, you must win this die. game for us with these judgments. Just, just don't need to go in on it. Yeah, they have, they have, yeah, they have Vile Feast and Mystic Shot and get excited and all that kind of stuff. Usually they play like Withering Will and Grasp the Undying. They could have those, they have Ruination. They have a lot of stuff like that. Definitely be playing Vengeance as well. So the problem with Repost, you know, instead of Prismatic Barriers, this this four mana ha just keeps looking really awkward. You know, it gives the plus three, but this fourth mana is pretty awkward. Alright, so we're going to... 
Yeah, we're bouncing our, our thing for the card draw and get, get another threat again. So I'm first gonna take that thing out. Deny it should be useful. How do I do 15 damage to them like right now? kind of laggy there for a little bit but all right get the block in keep that thing at nine once so they don't get to recast it um yeah just attacking here it's easier when you have zed and fiora or, you know especially like zed or you know either of those you know it's a little easier to to kill them when you have those two cards than when you have Shadow Assassin. But this is a good good control deck that we're playing against. It's not going to be easy racing Commander Ledros. Okay. That can be great. That can be great. I'm not just firing it off right there to do four damage. When we have like Riposte, we can do a lot, like potentially a lot more damage. Best case scenario is they just replay Ledros. That would be best case scenario and just let this happen and everything. Gosh, I really wish this was still... I really wish this was just three mana. I wish one of these was three mana. Any of those. Um... That's bad. That's real bad. That's real, real bad. No, they're not going to start fucking.
We can do four damage to them. It's even worth casting as just four damage. I think they got us. I think they outgrinded us. Standalone was awesome. Countered that. We still have a shot. I really wish I didn't use that rally now. Wish I would have saved that rally. Well, I'm just going for it. They could have killed... They would have killed, you know. If they would have, if they could have. They would have killed her last time. You would think. Dang. So close. Oh, shouldn't use that rally for that four damage. So close. How many cards they got? Oh, they still have 15. Creatures. draw elusive when you draw you know solitary monk or shadow assassin or I guess Zed makes two bodies Zed could be good too you know when you draw draw something Zed come on Zed come on have nothing have nothing come on I don't know how they'd have nothing out of six cards but maybe they do no no they have something Still epic game. Pretty epic game there. Pretty epic game. Um, you know how how I played that game early. You know I, I went I went more defensive with the Shadow Assassin, and uh, you know maybe next time I would I'd rather have uh, gone more all in on the Fiora with the spiders and taken more damage. I don't know. That was a tough call. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, I liked this deck. Uh, the the Radiant Strike, honestly, like, we played Radiant Strike over Health Potion, but honestly, Health Potion seems like it would have been awesome there a lot of the times, because, like, there's a lot of time we, we really did need to, you know, gain, you know, heal three on these things. Um, yeah, Health Potion looks like it, it could have been great. 
you know, maybe that's better than Chain Vest or Radiant Strike. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the, the Relentless Pursuit was pretty good. Um, I it, I guess we only have... I guess like, you have all those things that cost four. I don't know. All those things costing four were pretty awkward. I wish that some of them cost three because it's just so important to cost three. Like there's just a big difference between three and four mana in this game like where you have the three spell mana. It's just a huge difference. Um... Will of Ionia didn't really look like anything we needed. Maybe you don't need Will of Ionia. Because if the game plays out like how we're trying to play it out, like our our game's going so fast, we're not we're not really trying to bounce anything. Maybe that's something that maybe that's a slot that could change. Um But uh But yeah, pretty awesome. That was that was definitely a, a fun deck to play, and uh, Judgment was absolutely amazing. Much better than I even envisioned it being. This, you know, this was like three of our four wins were just Judgment winning the game. Pretty awesome there. Um, yeah, as far as like Prismatic Barrier, I'm not exactly sure where to go. Like how many like health potions to play or, or prismatic barrier to play. I don't think it's three radiant strike and zero health potion. I would at least go two and one at least, if not one, two, the other way, but at, at least, but probably, probably two and one to start with. And then, and then go from there. I wouldn't just play three. I wouldn't just go. Yeah. So that's, that's one change I would definitely make. And then, um, I'm not sure how important Spirit's Refuge is. I mean, obviously the Lifesteal can can be you know, can help you win races, but I think that I think that Relentless Pursuit maybe helps us win those races and you know, now I think we just use Relentless Pursuit to win races and not the Lifesteal. I don't know, but but I do want some prismatic barriers. I would want like two prismatic barriers over two of these four mana cards. So, you know, between Repost, Refuge, and Will of Ionia, I would cut two of these six and play two barriers instead. I just don't know exactly which two of these six, but, um, like, maybe, like, one of the Reposts, you probably don't need all three Repost. like, maybe just cut one of those and then, like, a Will of Ionia. Like, we just have, like, one Will of Ionia if we need it. I don't, I don't know if we need two of those. Uh, it's not something we we never want to have like two in any game, so we probably don't need to. Maybe just have one that if you draw it and it does something, that's cool. But I could also just see cutting the Will of Ionia and getting like another Health Potion, um, or Prismatic Barrier, or Relentless Pursuit, or Solitary Monk. I could see playing another one of any of those cards um, instead of this other Refuge. Or sorry, instead of this other Will of Ionia. Sorry. Um. Do, do, do. Um, yeah, yeah, you're saying take person's deck that says take out take out the will, put in another barrier. I, I like that. I like that. I do I, I may want honestly may want like another health potion instead of a barrier. Cause like the barriers, you know, people can um yeah, as we see there, you know, like a lot of people have like the one damage spells these days. You know, like vile feast is everywhere and and static shock and all that kind of stuff. A lot of a lot of people can break up barriers. Um, I may just want have like two barrier, two health potion. I feel like health potion would have been great in some of those games. Um, if you don't have standalone health potion, isn't very good. But you know, the whole deck, like the whole point of the deck, like we're trying to find standalone and we mulligan and looking for standalone. And so health potion should be great in that respect. Um, maybe if we're playing, maybe with the health potions though. Uh, honestly, maybe you could just have a third prismatic barrier and not play this refuge. You don't get the life steal, but maybe maybe with the health potions, you know, if, if we throw those in, 
you can outrace people also by just healing yourself three and just buy yourself another turn. And then, of course, you know, you have the Relentless Pursuits. Um, maybe you can just outrace and, and don't need don't need the four, that other four mana card and can play another uh, Prismatic Barrier. Because, of course, the deck, like, after you play the Fiora and Zed, you have to try to play a lot of these spells in a turn, you know? Like, so for five mana, you want to be able to play, like, a Barrier and a Health Potion and a Radiant Strike or in a Chain Vest. You know, like, that extra mana really is difficult with this deck because we're trying to end the games so fast. Um... I would not, yeah, I would I would always keep the three denies for, for yeah, Vengeance, Ruination, all that kind of stuff. I would not cut, deny, deny's amazing. Need to, need to have denies for those kind of cards. Um, but I, I would like, I would like cutting it down, though, because I thought we had just too many four mana cards. The Blade Keeper looked pretty good. All right, but there we go. So that's a standalone mid-range. Um, kind of more of a combo deck, maybe. Maybe this is like standalone combo. It's kind of like a combo deck. I could definitely see playing the third Relentless Pursuit also. You know, just going three Pursuit, three Monk, and, you know, just trying to have, like, that kind of combo too. But I don't know. You do get to play Fiora, Judgment. Pretty sweet deck. Pretty sweet deck. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave a comment. Um, and, uh, you know, as this was a donation deck if you'd like to see your deck played on stream as well it's just a ten dollar donation and the donation links down below as we talked about before um but yeah feel free to send in those donations and uh, get your deck played on stream and have it up on youtube all right but thank you so much for watching some standalone mid-range and i'll see you for the next video